What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Dex on Windows. Now this feature was recently released with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, but hopefully in the future it does come to the older Note phones and the Galaxy S series that support Dex already. And by the way, this will also work on OS X. So if you have a MacBook or an iMac, you can get this up and running as long as you have a Note 10 or a Note 10 Plus. Now I'm gonna be running this on a relatively low powered Lenovo laptop. This is a dual core laptop. It costs $200 new and it really can't even get out of its own way. I'll be using the Note 10 Plus for this. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I personally really like Samsung DeX. I've recently done a couple videos on it with the Galaxy S10. And it's a really awesome feature of these new Samsung phones. The way I usually do it is just plug in a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter, like this one here. And then I'll plug this into my TV or monitor. And it basically turns my Samsung Galaxy phone into an Android desktop. But I'm not always carrying a monitor or a television with me. But I usually always have a low-powered laptop on hand somewhere in case I need to get something done. So in order to get this up and running, you're obviously going to need some type of Windows PC, be it a laptop, desktop, or a computer running OS X. You'll also have to download the new Samsung DeX app, and you'll need a USB Type-C cable. So I've got the app running. I've plugged in my Note 10 Plus, and we'll just wait a second, and it'll boot right into the DeX desktop. So whether you're running a game or editing a Word document in DeX, it's using the CPU inside of the phone. The computer CPU and RAM is pretty much untouched here, except for running the DeX app in the background. The Wi-Fi and everything is still coming from the phone, but we can use the keyboard and trackpad or keyboard and mouse, depending on how you have this set up, to control DeX inside of Windows. And yes, you can switch between DeX and Windows at any time. It automatically starts in full screen mode, but you can use this in windowed mode if you want to. So here we have DeX running on top of the Windows desktop. And unfortunately, DeX will not use the snap feature built into Windows 10. Hopefully they fix this in the future because I'd actually like to have this snapped over to the right hand side. So in this video, I'm just going to test out a few things here with DeX on Windows. We'll get into a little bit of native Android gameplay. I'll test out some video playback, run some benchmarks. And by the end, I'll give you my final thoughts of running DeX in Windows. So the one major downside that I've already noticed to running DeX on Windows or DeX through USB Type-C to HDMI is the frame rate. When you're using an HDMI adapter with the S10 or the Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, you'll get 60 FPS. I'm running this from the Samsung DeX app in Windows and I'm at 30 and you'll see we have some drops all the time. It's running in OpenGL mode. Now I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is. I am using Afterburner to check the FPS and I've really never had trouble in the past. If it's using OpenGL, this is pretty accurate. So the very first thing I wanted to see was how much more powerful this phone is than the laptop. I ran a quick Geekbench on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, single core, 3519, multi, 10,440. On the laptop I'm running, 2636, and 5018 for the multi-core score. Keep in mind, this is definitely gonna vary between machine to machine, and this laptop was only $200. The Note 10 Plus is much more expensive than this. I expected it would beat it in single and multi. This was just a quick little test that I wanted to run, and any further benchmarks that I run inside of DeX on the Note 10 Plus will not be compared with this PC, because it's gonna vary between PC to PC. So what about DeX performance versus the built-in screen without running DeX whatsoever? I ran a couple benchmarks without DeX running and with DeX, and we're gonna check those out now. First up, we have 3D Mark. For the OpenGL score, we scored a 5,555. Vulcan, 4,826. With just the built in screen on the Note 10 Plus, running the same exact benchmark, OpenGL, 5585. Vulcan, 4835. So, as GPU performance goes, there's really no difference between DeX and the built in screen. Next up, we have Antutu. Now I ran this index, 365,798, 368,422. We did score a little higher with the built-in screen, but if I ran this a few more times, I think we can match or even beat that score inside a DeX. So as a whole, you're still getting the same performance that the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus can put out in DeX mode. Another cool feature that was added to DeX on Windows is the ability to drag and drop files between each operating system. So here I have a couple video files on my Windows desktop. 
and I'm just going to drag them right to my dex window. It's now going to copy them right over to the note. And this will work with any kind of file. So if you've been working on, let's say, some Word documents in Windows, you can just drag and drop them right over here to Dex and start editing them in Microsoft Word for Android. So I now have my files transferred over to my note. And since we're here, let's go to My Files. These were two videos, so we'll go to Videos. Since they're video files, let's go ahead and test them out. This one is 4K 30fps MP4. We'll just use the built-in video player. I do notice a little bit of choppiness, and this could be due to the frame rate that Dex on Windows is running at, because on the phone itself, these run flawlessly. So that's 30 FPS, 4K. We'll try 1080p, 60 FPS. And even in the same spot, I do notice some choppiness, even at 1080p, so I'm going to chalk this up to the DEX app itself in Windows. So now it's time to move on to a little bit of native Android gaming. As you can see here, I have my Xbox One controller connected over Bluetooth. that works really well with these Samsung phones and DEX. Another thing you might want to do is go into DEX Labs, and make sure you have force apps to resize. Now some apps just won't do it. We'll go with Real Racing 3. As you can see, it goes windowed mode, and we'll have to restart if we want to go to full screen. Performance really isn't that bad, and controller latency can be dealt with. There is a little bit of latency here. I'm running over Bluetooth, plus we're kind of mirroring this DeX into Windows. In my experience, gaming on DeX will be much better using just USB Type-C to HDMI. But in a pinch, this can work. Now that was a game that can easily be played with a controller. What about touchscreen games? Well, a lot of them that require, let's say, multiple touches aren't going to work well. But let's say you want to play Hearthstone. It's going to function perfectly in Dex mode. Another a lot of the smaller multi-touch games just aren't going to work so well because you need to use the mouse. You only have one point of touch, but something like Hearthstone is perfectly playable. I can't do that. So we'll test out one more game here, and I wish I could do PUBG Mobile, but unfortunately the developers haven't added true controller support. You could always use a controller mapper like Octopus if you really wanted to, but we'll just go with Fortnite because it does support native controllers on Android. So here we are, 30 FPS, Epic, I'll go to Settings. Unfortunately I can't switch it to 60 for some reason but I have the resolution at 100% and the FPS is on screen. So it's not ideal playing it like this. Uh, there's still a little bit of latency. It's actually not as bad as I expected it would be with this controller though. And 30 FPS, I mean it still looks good and functions properly. You could play Fortnite like this if you really wanted to. Emulation on DEX is also possible. I'll just go with the Dolphin emulator. 
We'll start Time Splitters 2. This is the GameCube emulator. Works really well. I have the FPS listed up here, but remember, DEX is only running at 30 FPS because we're using DEX in Windows. So overall, DEX on Windows performs much better than I thought it would. And by the way, yes, you can still use your phone while you're using DEX on Windows. You'll still receive your notifications and calls, plus they'll show up in DEX. Other than the 30 FPS limit that I'm having on this laptop here, performance is great, but I'd rather use an HDMI adapter with the Note 10 or the S10. Using DEX with one of these is just a much better experience. You do get a cleaner picture and a higher frame rate. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I do have a couple more videos on the Note 10 Plus coming up very shortly. And if you want to see anything else running on the 10 Plus, or if you have any questions about this video, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.